Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, and it's just parked next to a Sabre. You know, nobody cares. Sabre. Hey guys, welcome back to the Auto Hound. So today we are here at the Granite Concourse at Elegance 2023. Uh, look at this. Lamborghini Greenwich STO. Um, it's a Lamborghini Urus. Over here are the McLarens. And look how cool this McLaren color is over there. Is that blue or is that This is a little 720S. And you can see the multi shades of blue on it. And this really cool cosmic purple. It does look like it's going through space. Hey guys, welcome back to the Auto Hound. Welcome to this short. Check this out. Barry House Coffee. You have to drink this stuff. It's amazing. They've been in business. This is Gene, by the way. Gene with Barry House Coffee. Uh, so Gene, how long have you been in business? We've been in business since 1934. New York-based company. We have fair trade and organic coffees, and we're really proud. Hey, tell me, what's your website? BarryHouseStore.com. BarryHouseStore.com. Guys, you have to check out this product. It's amazing. It's so good. Okay, it's so good. I'm not a coffee drinker. That's really, really good. Okay, folks, so I think I mentioned to you my favorite color for a car is British Racing Green. So let's walk down British Racing Green Isle, shall we? And I'm going to have the Auto Hound tell you what the cars are. This right here is an Austin Healy Bug Eyed Sprite. Um, it is from 1958. Uh, 1958 uh, Austin Healy Bug Eye Sprite. Really great car. I love the green uh, over the ivory interior. Over here, we have um, a really cool car. This is a, uh, I don't know the a 1995 Hard car to find uh, in this color, especially the camo interior. Again, it finished off in the British Racing Green. Over here is the Lotus Milan. Uh, this Lotus Milan is a, uh, apparently the 1968. If it looks familiar to you, um, the Mazda Miata was loosely based on this particular design. So the Mazda Miata and the Lotus Milan do share a lot of similar uh, kind of design features. So this is a 1972 Triumph TR6. Uh, Triumph TR6 is a really great car. The TR7 wasn't as popular uh it just didn't have the right kind of feel to it it was very futuristic and wedgy this is the last year that they really made the car look as nice as the originals were you see the round headlights if you come around here look at the interior the interior is absolutely perfect the saddle color and the wood dashboard with the wood steering wheel uh, over here Looking at the back, it's got the Union Jack with a TR6 in the middle. And look how nice the back end of this car is with the gas tank right in the middle of the car. Over here, this, this is like one of my favorite cars ever designed. This is a Jaguar. I believe it's a Mark IV. Um, let's go up to the front. We'll find that out. Take a look at this. Great, great green. Over the camel color right here. Uh, the camel is a nice looking color. It's a 56 Jaguar XK. Um, so it's a 56 Jaguar XK. So it's a nice car, XK 140. Super nice car. Very, very desirable. I love this car. And this one over here is, uh, I believe, a 1981? 1951 MGTD. Uh, I've seen this particular car before uh, up in Massachusetts when it was doing a hill climb. Really cool car, runs great, drives great, fantastic. All right, guys, this is one of seven Shaker 340 Hemi Barracudas in the world. It's the only one in purple, um, and it is number one of seven. First of all, look at the color of this car. This is a XJRS. You're not gonna find many of these in the world, especially one that looks this good. Wow. 
Unbelievable car. Bentley, excuse me, look at this Bentley. Wow. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, it's an EV 110. On my channel, we bring you the best of the best. This is the new Aston Martin Vulcan. Look at the size of this wing. This is crazy. Look at this thing. Look at the lights, how they pop out, almost like Legos. The side pipes coming out. Look at the steering wheel. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, it's just parked next to a Sabre. You know, nobody cares. Sabre. That's mine. Look at this. Look at the red menacing lights. It's got the Mirage package. Whew. Full Gimbala outfit. Look at that. That's craziness. Let's go over here. That is a McLaren F1. There's a three-seater on my channel, live, in the wild. I love the three-seater, the center seating um, position in the cockpit. Three people could sit fit comfortably in that car at 200 miles an hour. This is a 2015 uh, LaFerrari. I love the two-tone roof of this car. That is so neat. So incredibly neat. Here. Guys, this is the inside of the Bugatti EV110. Look, look at this. Look at this. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Crazy. Mo 1957, great license plate. What a cute, adorable little car. I'm sure it's worth a bazillion dollars. The auto hound would know that. I don't. But this is super. Oh, look at that beautiful saddlebag, leather interior. It looks super comfy. Oh, and it's a Ferrari. I didn't even know that until I turned this way and looked. It's pretty cool. Here's another great little roadster. Nice. This is an RZ Zagato. You don't see them here in the United States. Went on a grand tour, high speed. I just love this. This is great. Let's chase this down. Here's the Pagani folks. Maserati MC20. Blue over gray. Beautiful car. Wow. And flipping to this side. This Lamborghini LP700. Look at this. Finished off in the gray color. That's really gorgeous.
Aventador. All right, so guys, this is 1965 Ford GT40. This is what was in Ford versus Ferrari. Not the actual car, of course, that Christian Bale drove. However, this was what they drove at Le Mans to win Le Mans. You take a look. What I love about it is most standard shifts, they have the shifter in the middle. Check that out. The shifter's right here. That's super sweet. So this way, if you're from the United States, you don't have to worry about shifting with your left hand. You shift with your right like you normally would. Now, the GT40 moniker came from the fact that the car had to be exactly 40 inches tall in order to compete at Le Mans. Hello there. Well, we've had a wonderful time at the Greenwich Concourse d'Elegance, sponsored by Haggerty. And we hope that you've enjoyed the footage that we've provided and some of our commentary. And please remember, if you like this type of content, like, comment, and subscribe. Remember, it's about the drive.